What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the new Onslaught mode coming to Destiny 2 in the End to the Light update. I made a video several days ago talking about a lot of the rumors kind of swirling around this before this information was released that there was going to be a Horde mode brought to Destiny 2. And we did get, we did get confirmation of that in the Bungie live stream. There will be some more live streams uh, next week or next Tuesday or this coming Tuesday on the uh, 26th. And then we'll have another live stream the following Tuesday on April the 2nd. So you can definitely check those out. And if you do not get to watch this previous live stream, they do have them all posted on YouTube or they will have them you know, posted as they come out. But during this live stream, we get to see we did get to see a good bit of gameplay of the onslaught mode, and we got to learn a lot about it. First of all, we did learn that Shax is the main NPC for the activity, and there will be a specific vendor currency for this activity. You will get to defend a central point on the map. This is a three-player activity, and in higher difficulties, this uh, central location will move. The, there are going to be set points for defense that include tripwires, turrets, and decoys. So you'll be able to not only, you know, you and two other teammates fight against these enemies, but you'll also be able to set up kind of some defenses around the map. Now these will be in set locations. You do not get to put, you do not get to put these out, you know, wherever you want them, which is kind of disappointing. I was hoping that was going to be a thing, but this is still pretty neat just in general. You also have scrap that will fall from uh, enemies that you defeat. You can farm scrap, of course, by defeating those enemies, and scrap is farmed as a team, but you can spend it individually, or each person can spend it individually from their, you know, from their character to upgrade these different areas, or to rebuild and fix things in between rounds. There's going to be a, you know, time between the rounds where you can go in and actually fix stuff. So this kind of reminds me of Horde Mode in Gears of War, and a little bit of Call of Duty Zombies, actually. So they kind of mix those together, which sounds like a very interesting thing to me. This is a wave-based mode that has 10 waves in an easier playlist version, which is something you can actually go in and match make. And then 50 waves for the two harder modes. Now, the harder modes you will not be able to match make. You will have to have a fire team to go in with. The difficulty escalates over time and will include things like shielded enemies and champions, Fallen and Hive. Also, they said even Tormentors will show up at times during, you know, the different waves on the higher difficulties. They said the map will be a version of Midtown, which is a Crucible or, or PvP map. I'm not sure if they will be if there will be different maps, you know, eventually, or if this is going to be the only map we have. But it says you will notice that there's different parts of the map, or the way the map works is going to be a bit different than you would have. Uh, you know, would have had in a actual Crucible game. Of course, it has to be changed up kind of for how this is going to work or the new mechanics are going to work with the Onslaught mode. During the wave, there are optional objectives. So not only will you be able to go in and just, you know, fight waves of enemies, but you will have optional objectives to do to get extra things like heavy ammo crates and maybe some other things as well that are not mentioned during the video. Of course, they did talk about reward weapons. Now, they said that will be in the upcoming um, live stream, which, like, like I said, will be on the 26th of March, so this coming Tuesday. They're going to talk about more weapon drops. They said new versions of the hung jury. And, of course, we've already heard that the Hammerhead and Recluse are most likely returning to the game as well. And a lot of these leaks that came out uh, talking about horde mode. So, it looks like we're going to get some old sunset weapons maybe some new versions of weapons we've had of course you can still get the hung jury from the vanguard engrams in the tower but if we get some new perks put on i know a lot of people are going to be looking for these weapons i'm hoping at, at some point maybe we get some new weapons added to this or at least like i talked about in the past video the addition of a lot of the stuff that has been sunset i think a lot of people would like to see some of these older weapons return to the game permanently and of course, if you're a veteran player, you remember these weapons, but a lot of these weapons we have not got to use in a long time. And if you're a new player, all of these weapons are going to be something brand new that you get to farm. So this looks like it's going to be a very interesting new mode. And I think it is a good thing that they've added this in because a lot of people have talked about this over the years, having some type of, you know, just a 
horde mode, like I said, really from what reminds me a lot of it is Gears of War with a little bit of that Call of Duty Zombies thrown in where you can actually, you know, set up your defenses. My only disappointment with this, and that's something that I did talk about in that video uh, where I was talking about this being leaked and this could be something that we're going to get, uh, you know, in the game, is I was really hoping that it was going to be a large player activity, something like Dares of Eternity or even bigger, you know, six players plus. And sadly, that's not the case. Now, will that always be the case? Who knows? We'll kind of have to wait and see. But I really would have liked a, a six plus player event. Eight players, ten players, something like that would have been crazy. There would have been tons and tons and tons of enemies where it took a lot of different guardians to be able to do that. But I understand why now that that's not the case, considering that you're not going to be able to match make this on the harder difficulties. Another thing they did mention during this that I thought was very interesting, they said this would not be something that would be a solo uh, a, a solo type thing on the harder difficulties, which I'm sure a lot of people will accept that challenge. And I'm very interested to see if someone can actually solo 50 rounds, because I know there's a lot of people out there that will try it. But it does sound like it's going to be a difficult activity, but also a rewarding and fun activity added in to Destiny 2. So leave me a thought uh, with your you know, kind of opinions on Onslaught, what you would like to see be added into this mode. I'm hoping you know we get a lot of weapons, maybe some exotics even eventually. And this is definitely a thing that Bungie can work with, you know, going forward. I hope it's not something just to kind of hold us over between now and, you know, the final shape coming out. I'm hoping this is a mode that they continue to tweak and work on and add different stuff to as the game's life cycle continues. Like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.